It was really crazy. What he has an Axel from Little Bastard, James Dean's car. Oh, and I didn't realize how like haunted and like crazy this car was. No. Like you know, we all know James Dean. Yeah, he's the coolest guy in the world. Right, like movie star, died in this horrible car crash. Yeah, I got a magnet. Like, Twenty five. Yeah, like two of them. East of Eden, Rebel without a cause, giant like was gonna be a massive star. Yeah. Died way too young. So he bought this. He was a big race driver too. He was arguably like way more into racing than he was into acting. And so he bought this little Porsche 550 Spider, and he absolutely loved this car. And this is the car he ended up dying in. But Alec Guinness, another actor, met him pretty shortly after he bought the car. And he got a real weird feeling from it. Like, he was really creeped out, like, really powerful feeling from the car. And in his memoirs, Alec Guinness wrote, The sports car looked sinister to me. Exhausted, hungry, feeling a little ill-tempered in spite of Dean's kindness. I heard myself saying in a voice I could hardly recognize as my own, Please, never get in it. If you get in that car, you'll be found dead in it by this time next week. And within a week, like a week later, James Dean died in that car. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. Had chills when you said that. Yeah. Yeah. So he bought this car. He bought it to race in. It was brand new. Like, it wasn't like it wasn't broken in yet. He was going to tow it, um, but Rolf Witherich, his mechanic, was like, no, you should probably drive it. Just, like, break it in. Break in the engine a little bit because you've got to race this car. It's never really been driven. And so... He decided to drive it. So he was driving from L.A. to this race. Um, he ended up, they were all speeding, driving super fast. He ended up getting pulled over. They all got, like, they all got tickets, everybody that was driving. But didn't really stop them. They continued driving. Um, so he was driving down Route 4 to 66 in California, about 70, 80, 85 miles an hour. And you're never going to believe the guy's name. But there's a guy that, like, basically turned out in front of him. Mm-hmm. And he couldn't hit it. Hit the car. He was driving a little Ford. Um, a little Ford. Hit the fl- flipped the Ford. Hit it about forty feet down the road. The guys that were driving that were fine. Ejected his engineer. Flew it. He survived. He actually ended up dying later in another car crash in the eighties. Oh. He, because this messed him up for life. Like he had so much PTSD from it. Oh, I'm sure. Ended up dying in a DUI. In the eighties, as he was go- as he was like filming a documentary about James Dean dying in a car crash. Well, okay. But the guy that hit him was named Donald Turnup Speed. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a last His name. His last name was Turnup Speed. <laughs> what? Talk about irony. That's <laughs> I thought I I swear I thought you were gonna say Rafael Gonzalez. <laughs> I wish, but no. Donald Turnup Speed That's was insane. the guy that hit that hit James, James Dean, Dean and killed him. He didn't change his name. That was just his name. That was just his name. I would definitely. I've never heard that name, last name in my life. Yeah. Yeah. So you have this car that Alec Guinness was like had a real bad feeling of. Said no, don't get it. You're gonna die in it. James Dean, unfortunately, died in the car a week later. Yeah. So the insurance wrote it off as a total loss, obviously. If you look up pictures of the car, it's obviously a huge mess. Just decimated. Like, Dean had to be cut out of it. Like, it was horrible. Um, so a Dr. William S. Rich, he bought the car. He was another race car driver. He bought the car for parts. He took out the engine, put it in his Lotus 9, um, and he loaned the transmission and suspension parts that were salvageable um, to, a Tony, to a Troy McHenry. They were doing a race a little bit later on in 1956. So James Dean died in 1955. This was less than a year later. So Elrich crashed his car in that race. They had the engine from the Spider in. McHenry, in the same race, using the transmission and suspension, hit a tree and died. Whoa. In that race. And these are both like professional race car drivers. Right. So after that, there's a guy named George Barris. He's the king of customs. He did all sorts of movie car work. Like he did the, he did the, one of the original Batmobiles. He did a bunch of cars, um, tried to rebuild it. And he couldn't. So he loaned the car to the LA chapter of the national safety council. And from like 57 to 59, it was doing all these tours and stuff. And 59, the car was in storage 
and it just caught on fire. Just burst into flames? Burst into flames. That's but it wasn't great. really damaged. Like some of the paint melted, a couple of tires were messed up a little bit. But and wait, what parts were in it? The whole the car. Like the he like he had tried to restore it but he couldn't. So right. it was used as kind of a like, hey, don't speed. This could happen to you sure. kind of display and stuff. And so the car just caught fire. <laughs> That's insane. It, it wasn't was ruined because the car is alive. And it obviously. wasn't fine. Yeah, it wasn't ruined. Like the some of the paint damage, there's a little few things that were messed up, but overall, like the car was fine. Okay, that's not okay. Yeah. And so he sold Bear sold a couple of the tires from the car to somebody, and as they were driving with the tires on, both of the tires supposedly blew at the same time. And the car crashed. <laughs> like everything that this car is like parts of this car is associated with. Who like, made this car? It's just a Porsche. But the James Dean one of the theories is he was in a relationship for a little while with the lady that played Elvira. Yeah. And she was super big into the occult and stuff. And supposedly there was like some curses and things that happened. He broke up around the her. time. So, but then, and then there's some, uncon- those are all confirmed things that happened Okay, with this car. And there's some unconfirmed things. Like it fell on somebody at a show and like broke their hip. A guy that was transporting it got crushed by the car and then it disappeared. The car disappeared. Like it was in a box car again, transported, and supposedly it just disappeared from the sealed box car. What? And it's never been seen again. Okay. Ever since then. Until this axle from it showed up, and Zach Bagans mm-hmm. bought it and put it in the museum. He bought it for like almost $400,000. But it's confirmed to be the actual, it's the last remaining car part from this car. And it was confirmed by like the serial number with the manufacturer. And sure, sure, like sure. Confirmed that it was the same one. My goodness, it was crazy. It was like it was a haunted object that I had never like really heard about, but it was just it's so creepy because you have this guy that's like he's the coolest guy in the world, like a massive movie star and everything, and literally the coolest guy in the world. Just like he died, and then but and then the car kept having things happen to it throughout the years. As other owners took control and other parts of it came and went. That's wild. Yeah. It was it's a really cool, crazy story. That is a really cool, crazy story. I've never heard a story like that. Yeah. So that was one that I, that was. And they just had the axle. They did it. Yeah. yeah. They had the axle for it. They displayed it like they played this big movie about James Dean and like mm-hmm. everything that happened. Yeah. And then like opened this wall and the axle was sitting there and it was like, it's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's super crazy. Sorry, I'm like crazy, 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 crazy. So crazy, crazy, man. I don't even know what to think about that. I know nothing about this, but yeah, I, I feel I, like I, I need really to know read anything about it either. Everything about it. Yeah, now. <clears throat> but the car was called Little Bastard. <laughs> Google it. Like that's what he named it. Appropriate. Yeah, and it's 